Will you be giving your kid a share in the stock market on their next birthday? If not, then watch this video to learn how important it is to have your kid's financial future planned out. You are watching The Financial Educator, here to teach you what they should have taught you in school. Investment is the foremost thing that pops up in our minds whenever we talk about a secure financial future. When you have idle money lying around probably for more than a decade, it is not considered wise to just let it rest in a savings account for that period of time. You are missing out on a huge opportunity by not putting that money to work. And this might be the case with many people who start saving for their kids early, which is great, but it can be even more beneficial and rewarding if you invest those funds instead. Want to learn how? Then watch this video till the very end. Let's start by asking ourselves, why is there a need to invest for your children? As little and young as they might seem right now, your kids eventually grow up and time flies fast. Soon they will have a number of expenses lined up before them, which can range anything from paying for their first car, depositing any sort of installment, and the biggest nightmare of the graduates, student loans. According to educationdata.org, the student loan debt crisis affects over 43 million Americans. Americans owe a total of $1.75 trillion in federal and private student loan debt combined. The total federal student loan debt is $1.61 trillion. This academic crisis is serious and several are suffering from it. In a nutshell, student debtors are in trouble due to rising average debt and dropping average salaries. In other words, many indebted college graduates and non-graduate borrowers are unable to repay the loans they took. Unpaid loans continue to collect interest, making repayment even more difficult. One day your kids would be applying to colleges. They might not have the required funds to pay for an entire degree and opt for a student loan. But the statistics have clearly shown how that might end up. So if they shouldn't take a loan, then how will these fee vouchers get paid? The answer to these approaching financial questions is right in front of you. You need to start investing on behalf of your children. Why it might be so crucial is also explained by the fact that money depreciates in value. Inflation is off the charts. The money keeps depreciating in value by great folds over time. So in case you haven't kept aside a sum of money for your children, it will not have the same monetary value 10 to 15 years later from now. Hence, it is incredibly important to start investing that fund on behalf of your children as soon as possible. Your efforts now would pile up to form a very secure financial future for your children. By investing, you are essentially putting your money to work and it continues to multiply due to the compounding effect. Interest is usually accumulated on a monthly, quarterly, semi-annual or annual basis. Any interest generated with continual compounding instantly begins generating interest in itself. Compounding has the ability to turn your working capital into an income generating commodity. Basically, generating earnings on an asset's reinvested earnings is termed compounding. The more time you give to your investments, the more likely it is that you will be able to accelerate the earning potential of your initial investment. Now you might be wondering if the goal is to benefit from the compounding effect, then why not just let it rest in the bank in a savings account since it's already accumulating interest, right? Well, to be precise, yes it is. But the thing is, it is not doing it fast enough or at a favorable rate and considering the current interest rates, the whole thing is not profitable at all. So what are some alternate choices you have to build up an investment portfolio for your children? Before we look into that, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. And on the same note, subscribe to our channel to become part of our financial community. Coming back to the video, what are some options you have to grow your children's investments before they do? First on the list are the 529 plans. According to Investopedia, 529 plans are tax-advantaged savings programs that were established in the 1990s to assist people in paying for the costs of higher education. The plan lets people save for a beneficiary, such as a kid, grandchild, or spouse. People can also save for themselves under the 529s. Prepaid tuition programs and savings plans are the two types of 529 plans. Paid tuition plans allow plan holders to prepay tuition and other costs for the beneficiary at a chosen institute. 
Savings plans, on the other hand, are tax-advantaged programs, similar to individual retirement accounts, IRAs. 529s are a great option to prepare for your children's higher education in advance. Number 2. Exchange-Traded Funds An ETF is an exchange-traded fund that gathers money from investors and invests it collectively. ETFs are inexpensive and simple to buy and sell. One transaction can acquire a diversified investment with a share in hundreds or even thousands of firms for as little as $500. Children have a long investment horizon and ETFs are excellent long-term investments. The next one might not have been on your mind before. Individual Retirement Accounts IRAs. You might not relate IRAs with children, yet they can be effective investment vehicles for youngsters. You can put the amount your child earned in a year into an IRA for them as long as they have some form of income, for example, a job or a gig. Roth IRAs, in which contributions are made with money that has already been taxed, are especially beneficial for children who are likely to be in the lowest tax bracket. Earnings grow tax-free, and funds in the account can be withdrawn once your kid has reached federal retirement age. Prior to that date, all contributions can be withdrawn tax-free and penalty-free for any purpose. Roth IRAs can also be utilized in the same way as 529 plans. Contributions and profits can be spent on educational costs, that too without any tax or penalty, which is the biggest advantage here. The list just goes on and on. Now that you're aware of some of the choices you have for your children's investment portfolio, let's discuss How can you reduce the risk? When you step into the investment world, you naturally expose yourself and your capital to an evident reality of risk. It can never be zero, however, there are several ways through which you can reduce this risk ratio. The most effective and convenient one is to Diversify the portfolio over time. We only mentioned a handful of investment options when, in reality, you have plenty. The best way to make your investments as profitable as possible is by spreading your capital and diversifying your investment streams. That is how you smoothen the graph for your overall potential risk. Another strategy is Dollar Cost Averaging Dollar Cost Averaging is a technique that involves investing equal sums of money at periodic intervals, regardless of a security's price. Dollar cost averaging can help lessen the overall impact of price volatility while also lowering the average cost per share. Investors that purchase consistently in volatile markets buy more shares at lower prices and fewer shares at hiked prices. This is also an excellent technique to boost an investor's confidence and improve the ability to make bold and clear judgments in stressful circumstances. Moreover, when your kids are approaching a cash event, for example, they need to make a deposit for their college fee, or perhaps pay an installment for their house, or alternatively buy a car, the list goes on. In those times, you are better off keeping the money separately, away from any potential risk, since now you will be withdrawing the money shortly. Otherwise, keep the money invested. Lastly, the key is to hand over these investments to the time and see the money work itself over the years. You will only benefit from these investments if you don't meddle with them or liquidate them before the required period. Hopefully this video helped you understand the importance of investing for your children. Not only does it secure their financial future, but also provides them the necessary financial literacy over the time. Kids need to know how to handle their money. The sooner they start educating themselves about finance, the better prepared they will be to face the future challenges. By the way, that is exactly what we do, so why not subscribe to our channel and have your kids learn about finance from the very basics. If you liked this video then give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications to stay updated with our future videos. Thank you for watching.